So we were in Hopwell Wuchong building, and then we were outside the Light Chikop detention center. Yes. A lot of people think that, um, uh, first of all, they are concerned about your health. You are not mm. 25 anymore. You are like <laughs> 70. <laughs> yeah, 72. Yeah, <laughs> you're 72 now. And with the enactment of the national security law, um, I know when you were fasting outside the Light Chikop detention center, they sent a police car uh, outside just to make sure you're okay maybe um, I don't know uh, the reason but definitely uh, what you are fighting for is the right of a boat uh, for the children at um, inside mainland China they can reunite with the family yes. and also the other um, noble causes are for the political prisoners right now in yes. Hong Kong right because um, we all understand, but now the government, definitely from six months ago, things have changed a, a bit. There's no one now in Hong Kong who is protesting outside. Um, and I don't see anyone will be commemorating, for instance, June 4th, or there will be another large scale demonstration of sorts. So in this, environment we understand that people have faith we kind of think differently but you are talking about the chinese communist party inside hong kong now so why still do it uh, in fact uh, <clears throat> this is not the first time that uh, we have uh, sit in or hunger strike for the right to about issue yes we did it for 22 years <laughs> yes uh, without interruption and uh, uh, this time we uh, had the, the youngest strike because uh, <coughs> um, in fact the only person that can solve this problem is Carrie Lam. You think so? She, you think she still has power? I mean uh, uh, in Hong Kong, I mean uh, on, uh, about the Hong Kong government because the security bureau clearly said that uh, only she can uh, just uh, convey mm -hmm. this uh, uh, hope that uh, uh, the right of a vote issue can be solved completely. But we insist that uh, the Security Bureau uh, in uh, 2011 promised that they will solve this problem completely after the children that were under 14 when mm. the parents came to Hong Kong mm. had come, all of them had come. Mm. So they will consider also to give the, to the ones were 14 or about 14 mm. so they had promised that so we have we hope that the government uh, insists that the problem should be solved not not only for hong kong even for macau and uh, uh, give these children the chance to come to hong kong yeah and be reunited with their parents so. how many cases are we talking about the right of um, about in, in hong kong okay so uh, from uh, 2011 till now uh, 70,000 children came mm. now we are uh, uh, have almost the same number for the one who are were right. 14 or more than 14. so several uh, uh, so uh, dozens of uh, mm. uh, thousands of yeah. people. Yeah. Okay. But another argument is that with the national security law, Hong Kong people are leaving anyways. So the, the ones who were born here, they won't be in Hong Kong because of political persecution. So they might open the gate. The government may open the gate uh, and let more mainland uh, people from coming, right? So. Yeah are we should we still do this i mean i i understand the whole 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 issue and then they talk about china is um it's getting richer and richer now like to, for some people right they they can life is more prosperous inside china than hong kong hong kong is kind of suffering um it's under attack at all angles so shouldn't we be sending the old parents back to mainland when the kids in their 40s are already prosperous they might be entrepreneurs you know owners of smes 
I mean, just different arguments. Mm, yeah. yeah. Uh, for the first argument, uh, also I read on the newspaper today that uh, on comp population is shrinking and shrinking. Yes. Uh, not only because of the, the people live on Kong for political reasons, but because also uh, no mainlanders have come to Hong Kong last year. So mm. it's, uh, and uh, we have fought for 22 years that uh, mm. these cities should uh, come to Hong Kong. So it's not a problem of numbers because all of them can be accepted immediately. Uh, about the, the second point, uh, we think that each citizen uh, has the right to choose where to stay with his parents or to stay with uh, his children or, or children because uh, they continue to insist that we are one country mm. which country cannot allow the parents to live with their children in the world only hong kong and china so mm. they insist we are one one country why not to allow them to come to with their parents so yeah I'm only allow half of them to right come. and the other half are not children I understand, and with the um, BNO issue, and I'm sure you know about it, uh, Regina Ip, um, well, who is uh, an EXCO member now, highly controversial. Yeah. I don't know whether she is Catholic, uh, like Carrie Lam. No, but, she's not Catholic. Oh, she is not Catholic, okay. But she wants Hong Kong people to make a choice if uh, whether they choose, if they go for the BNO route, they could not have the right of a bow, basically, yeah. right? Um, they cannot come back and um, and vote. This is um, a form of really accelerating the um, the exodus of Hong Kong people. Yeah. But of course, this is whole but she's, very complicated. She's contradicting herself. Yeah, because in 1999. She was the one, and then she was the chief of the security bureau, that said that 1,675,000 uh, mainlanders will come to Hong Kong because of this right to vote issue. Yeah. And so uh, everybody was scared uh, from this number. Uh, in fact, it was a fake number, it was not a, uh, I mean, uh, was a gross, uh, exaggerated number. No? And so, in fact, she was the one that uh, made Hong Kong people against the mainlanders at the time. So all the localism problems, even the, the independence of Hong Kong, was started by the, the then Hong Kong government. Yeah. Because they, they said these mainlanders are coming here, right. invading Hong Kong. Yeah. Hong Kong, save yourself. So that was the message. Who started this movement? Yeah. Hong Kong uh, government. Well, I just said. think she wants to make more sound by, uh, you know, the Hong Kong chief executive races uh, coming up, yes, um, yes, yes. so she's making a lot of sound by yes, uh, yes. for her own benefit. That's yes. about it. Yes. But I I just prayed uh, for God's intervention, uh, especially for your health and the guardian angels to be with yes. you more than anything else. And um, and I know it's a long fight, just like Hong Kong people's yes. fight for democracy has been yes. for decades. And now um, this is another issue uh, that um, a lot of people uh, have different views now but um, but I wish um, we do our best God will do the rest yeah, so I think that uh, if these children are allowed to come what a benefit uh, for both Hong Kong and China because uh, they show they have humanity they can give uh, the parents they are very old now, more yep. than 80 years old, so that they stay with the children and spend the last days of their, their lives uh, with a united family. So yep. it's good. They can visit, good. but they cannot stay permanently. Yeah, so yep. and, uh, but some of them, of course, that they won't stay in Hong Kong. They just get the idea to easily come to see mother and father, yep. and then they go back to mainland China to work. So mm. what's the problem? So. Yep is uh, so simple and also the, the the government promised to do that why they don't do that mm. uh, so is uh, okay. so uh, that what we will uh, continue yeah. to, yeah. to ask for yeah. how, how is your your health now this is the it's okay yes. yeah so, so is uh, yeah is yeah. Uh, yeah. 
it's not the first time so yes <laughs> yes can continue yeah yeah, yeah. but uh, let's keep um, yeah. watching about your health as well yeah. this is, this is okay. important no, the body is the temple of Christ in so. fact uh, the hunger strike is uh, uh, is uh, can benefit the body yeah because uh, all you are uh, can we say? Detox. Yeah, the, yeah. the, the detox that yeah. you have inside yeah. will go out. It's a little bit uh, cold, but today is warmer. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, last few days has been harsh. Yeah, and so. uh, Father, um, thank you. Ah, from the time being, no problem. Thank you very much. Thank you.